What's up dudes and judettes, and welcome back to RuneScape, where today we are going to continue our multi-part quest helping out Elena and the solution to this plague. So actually, before I jump in there and start this quest off immediately, I kind of did some reading. Like I normally do, I read through the quest beforehand, and this quest in particular has like three or four different places in which we can be sent all the way back to the beginning. So I'm going to try my absolute best to go step by step by Ruin HQ instead of fumbling my way through this like I normally do. Just because I don't want this to end up being an hour and a half long episode and running out of time where I can't record another one for you guys. So, let's start this off and talk to Elena and see how hard this is going to be. Good day to you, Elena. I'm glad to see you haven't been kidnapped again. You too, thanks for freeing me. Hey, look, she's already talking about the kidnapping. It's just a shame the mourners confiscated my equipment. What did they take? My distiller, I can't test the plague samples without it. They're holding it with the mourner quarters in West Ardong. I must somehow retrieve the distiller if I am to find the cure for this awful affliction. Well, I guess I could try to retrieve it. That would be easy enough. I've already jumped back and forth a couple of times. I was hoping you would say that. Oh, great. So she's an opportunist. Unfortunately, they discovered the, t the tunnel and filled it in. We need another way over the wall. Any ideas? My father's friend Jericho is in communication with Wester Dong. He might be able to help us. He, he lives next to the chapel. Oh, okay. Well, the chapel is just across the river and south of here, so it's not that big a deal. And we do have runs, so that's cool. Speaking of which, I guess I should show off. We have... Whoa. I didn't know there are price guides. That's a new update. Okay. Uh, we have two new or three new pieces of equipment that I kind of want to show off real quick. First one, kind of obvious, is our cape. I did a lot of agility training, which I believe I've already posted the video for. Uh, but I did a lot of agility training, and during that, I finally got my agility high enough to where I can actually buy this stuff. So I bought the cape, I bought the boots, and I bought the gloves, just because I didn't have enough for the hood instead of the boots. Base, or the gloves. I was going to keep my Void Knight gloves in general, but it's no big deal. Just kind of cool armor I figured I would show off to you guys, and I guess let's continue. We didn't need... Oh! We don't need to talk to the actual people here. We need to talk to the guy who lives next door. I assume the one in the range house right here. <laughs> you gotta love that. I walked right past this guy. Not to mention, this less than a minute and a half after I say, I'm gonna try to follow Ruin HQ the best I possibly can, and I completely forgot on step two. Alright, let's talk to Jericho. Hello, Jericho. I've been expecting you. Elena tells me you need to cross the wall. Yes, I do. Please help me. My messenger pigeons help me communicate with friends over the wall. Wait, are you going to suggest I use pigeons somehow to cross... Uh, uh, whatever. Loopholes. I've always arranged for two friends to... I have already arranged for two friends to aid you with a rope ladder. Omar is waiting for you at the south end of the wall. But be careful. If the mourners catch you, the punishment will be severe. Thanks. Huh, so he's already got a rope ladder. Does... I would assume that means just run to the south side of the West Ardong so I can get to the rope ladder, but because I'm not going to do the same mistake twice... Oh, hello. Uh, talk to Captain whatever the hell your name is. I just dug up an old treasure chest of mine. Problem is, old hands aren't as used... Ugh, aren't as good as they used to be. Sure, I'll unlock it. I always love getting free shit from this dude. Uh, let's get a bar, let's get a bowl, and then let's get a ring. Almost misclicked there. All good? No lag? Cool. Now, what did he give me? Gold necklace. Not worth it whatsoever. Alright, Omar is located west of the Cornelian... Uh, Carnelian Mansion. I am gonna have multiple strokes today. I can't read worth crap. After you have found him, talk to him and you'll say everything is ready, but you can't risk it with the watchtower so close. He will say you should go back and talk to Jericho again. But if... You can, but if you don't, don't waste time. Okay, that's cool. Oh, okay, well I'm glad that I am reading Rune HQ, because Rune HQ tells you to grab one of these pigeon cages. How the hell pigeon cages are going to be related to this, I don't know. Uh, but it also says I should get bird seed, and I'm not exactly sure where that's going to be. I assume that's in his cupboards, right? Open cupboard. Uh, yep, wow, bird feed. That was easy, cool. Mmm, burfade. Now, what could I do with that? You could do a lot with that. Scare the crap out of pigeons, who knows. 
All right, so let's start going to the watchtower. Then we have to run across to West Ardong, which isn't that big a deal. According to this, we have to use the bird seed on the watchtower, but I'm not exactly sure. So let me do a little bit of reading real quick so I don't have to do it on screen. I don't want you guys to be just sitting in silence, so wait just a brief moment. All right, so I found Omart. And I believe Omar Jericho said you might be able to help me. He informed me of your problem, Traveler. I would be glad to help. I have a rope ladder and my associate Krillin is waiting on the other side. Unfortunately, we can't risk it with the watchtower so close. So first, we need to distract the guards in the tower. Try asking Jericho. If he's not too busy with his pigeons, I'll be waiting here for you. Alright, so I was at the right spot, but you have to go talk to Omar first. If you don't, you can't actually use the bird feed uh, on the watchtower. I assume I can, yeah, I can now actually click on this watchtower. Keep away, civilian. What's it to you? The tower is here for your protection. Yeah, I, bullshit. The tower is here for your protection. Uh, can I actually click on the watchtower? Investigate. I can use it now. Use the bird feed on the watchtower or not. Oh! Wow, the hitboxes are so weird. Okay, so the watchtower is actually this fence post, not the actual watchtower. So I use all the seeds, I use the pigeons. Uh, the mourners do not seem to notice. The pigeons fly into the tower! <laughs> Scare the crap out of them. Alright, now I guess we run back to Omart and he will sneak us in. Actually, I didn't even think about it. We might need a gas mask, and if we do, I'll go back for it later, but... Well done! The guards are having real trouble with those birds. You must go now, Traveler. It's your only chance. Uh... Krillin! Okay, I was like, where's the ladder? I would love to be able... You must go now, Traveler. Uh... Okay, let's do it. I have no problems. Let's... There's the rope ladder. I just couldn't see it yet. I was like, what the hell are you trying to do? Okay, so from here... I bet we can't be seen by the mourners. I'm willing to bet that we can't be seen. If we're caught, we're probably screwed. So from there, I'm not sure exactly where we have to go. Let me real quick look back at Rune HQ so I don't end up screwing this over and having to start over. And I will be right back. Alrighty, so I kind of got a clue as to what I'm supposed to do. Right now, we're supposed to go to the most northeast house inside... West Ardon, which I believe is real close to where we've been before. Okay, well I guess that will solve my suspicions. A mourner just walked right past us and he didn't freak out that we didn't have a mask on, so I guess we don't need the gas mask? I'm willing to hope. Aha, okay, so this is where we've been before. This is the small shack with the Rinson family, and it turns out this is where we had to go. The cauldron's right there in the fenced-in area, and I walked right past this area. This is where I was originally going, but I mixed up my west and east like I normally do with the floating camera, and I ended up going way northwest rather than northeast. So I guess from here, there's really nothing we have to do except for squeeze through the fence and then rune HQ... Oh! Oh! Okay, well, I didn't know you could accidentally eat that. <laughs> That's awesome. I wish I would have right-clicked that instead of left-clicking. Let me wait real quick and I'll grab another apple. I sh I'm sure it's going to respawn here within the next couple of seconds, so it's not going to be that big a deal. All right, and I took the time while I was waiting here to look over the Rune HQ again. So you grab this rotten apple and you go through this, you squeeze through the fence and you use the rotten apple, not eat it, on this cauldron. I don't know what the hell the point of it is, but it quickly dissolves into the stew. That wasn't very nice. Apparent. Oh! You put a rotten apple inside their stew so that it basically makes them all ill. That makes sense. Okay. So now we're supposed to basically walk to the front of this place and try to enter it. These are, this is like the mourner headquarters, and we're going to try to enter it, and they're going to be like, sorry, no can do, everyone's sick. Uh, yeah, several mourners are ill with food poisoning, we're waiting for a doctor. Cool. 
So now we actually go talk to the nurse. The nurse that I tried to talk to last time. And this nurse, I believe, is going to give us something... No. We're actually going to steal doctor stuff from her, and we're going to play doctor. <laughs> so we just got all these people sick. And... Oh, I thought the nurse was over here. Uh... Oh, wait. It's in the southwest house. I keep mixing up my directions here. I think north is not in the direction that I keep going. All right. Well, my orientation is terrible in this game. So let's go in here, and this is Nurse Sarah. We've already talked to Nurse Sarah before, and I don't believe we actually have to talk to her right now. We just have to search her cupboard. We got the doctor's gown. Awesome. So from there, we start running back northeast. We'll get back to the mourners, and I assume they'll let us walk right in after we put the doctor's gown on. Be like, yep, I'm a doctor. Even though I have a lot of ruined plate armor and everything else on me, I'm a doctor. Don't you guys think otherwise. I didn't, you know, poison your stew or anything to make you all believe it. Cool, in you go, Doc. And he lets us in immediately, just because we have a doctor's gown on. So from here, we actually walk upstairs... And I believe, after we go through this door, somebody's going to be very ticked off to see us, right? Yeah. That mourner? No, that mourner? Nope. I guess not. I thought they were going to be real ticked off. Open the door and tell the mourner whatever you like. Oh, oops. <laughs> I didn't mean to attack you. I am sorry, sir. All good. Let's open the door here, then. Open gate. Nope. Needs a key. Okay. Oh, wait, I already got the key. What? I don't... The key fits the gate. Open the gate. All right, so I was supposed to kill that guy. That's cool. I kind of skipped everything there, and I assume we search all the crates. I would find pretty much nothing else in here if I wasn't supposed to search crates. Search crate, you find nothing. Search crate, you find nothing. Is there a specific crate that has something in it? Because that would be awesome. You search the crate and find her distiller. Sweet. All right, now we can leave and get out of this house. Good, because I don't like being around all these people in gas masks. It makes me feel like I'm about to be put under nerve gas. Let's start going... At oh, wait, I think I might still need that gown on. I'm not certain. Before I take it off, I might want to leave the house. Cool. All right, so let's go back to where the rope ladder was. I believe he was on the southeast side. I'm pretty sure he was on the southeast side down here. My directions are always mixed up whenever I'm here, but it should be all right. Let's talk to... Yep, Krillin. Hello, dude. Hello, Krillin. Are you going to take me out? Do you need to go back over? Yes, I do. Okay, quickly now. Uh, let's jump the rope ladder. Cool, no big deal. And from there, I believe we have to go talk to Elena, which is all right. I'm actually going to do a small jump cut because we're running out of run speed, and I don't want to end up walking. And back to Elena we go. Hello, Elena. Are you going to tell us what the hell this plague is now, now that we have your distiller? So have you managed to, res uh, have you managed to retrieve my distiller? Yes, I have. Here it is. You have? That's great. Now, can you pass me those reaction agents, please? I read that entirely wrong, and I'm glad I didn't spew out what I read that as. Those look pretty fancy. Yep, I bet they are. Well, yes and no. The liquid honey isn't worth much, but the others are. Especially the colorist Ather Atherna. I Athena? I guess that's Athena? Be careful with, with the sulfuric... Good lord, sulfuric bro line. It's highly poisonous. I'm not going to be able to say all these specific names if you keep doing this. You're going to put me in so many tongue, tongue twisters. I can't even say tongue twisters. Ah, all right. You're not kidding. I can spell it from here. Uh, yeah, apparently it's real bad. I don't understand. The touch paper hasn't changed color at all. Now you need to go and see my old mentor, Gildor. Gaidor, whatever. He lives in Varrock. Take these vials and the sample to him. Okay, but first you'll need some touch paper. Go and see the chemist in Remington. Just don't get into any fights and be careful who you speak to. Those vials are fragile and plague carriers don't tend to be too popular. 
I don't blame you. Okay, so this, I believe, is where we can get into serious trouble. We can't teleport at all, or these vials will dis be destroyed. We can't get into a fight, or the vials will be destroyed. We can't tell anyone that we're carrying plague vials, or we'll be sent back. So, I'm going to do my absolute best from this point on to read everything. And I mean everything. So, I'm going to probably do a small jump cut here, and then I will walk or do something to get to Remington, and that's when I will continue for you. So, be right back. Ta-da! Alright, so we made it all the way back to Remington, or at least just west of Remington, where the chemist is. So I assume we just talk to him and get some touch paper or whatever. I hope I do this correctly. There is Lamps, your quest. Uh, yeah, I want to talk about the quest. Sorry, I'm afraid we're closing now. You'll have to come back another time. This can't wait, I'm carrying a plague sample. I have a feeling that is not the one I'm supposed to click. It's okay, I'm Elena's friend. Oh, well that's different then. Must be pretty important to come all this way. How's everyone doing there anyway? Wasn't there some plague scare? Uh... <laughs> I need some more touch paper for this plague sample. I need some more touch paper for a guy called Gildor. I assume let's just not mention the plague. Who knows? I just need some touch paper for a guy named Gaidor. Gaidor, that's one of me then. This one's on me then, the, the poor guy. Sorry for interrogation. It's just there have been rumors of a man traveling with the plague on him. They're even doing spot checks in Varrock. It's a... Wow. They're doing spot checks? That's not good. It's a pharmaceutical disaster. Alright, so am I going to be okay carrying these three vials with me? With touch paper as well? You're asking for trouble. You better use my errand boys outside. Give them a vial each. They're not the most reliable people in the world. One's a painter, one's a gambler, and one's a drunk. Still, you pay peanuts, you get monkeys, right? <laughs> wow. If you pay peanuts, you get monkeys. Yeah, I guess that makes sense. It's better than entering Varak with half a laboratory in your knapsack. Uh, okay, thanks for your help. I mean, no, Elena appreciates it. Well, yes, don't stand here around gas gassing. You'd better hurry if you want to see Gaidor. He won't be around for much longer. Alright, so let's walk out here. This is another one that I'm going to have to read Rune HQ before I give them the vials. Because I believe you have to give them the vials in order of their importance. The sulfuric broline being poisonous, you can't give to the drunk because he'll drink it. The liquid honey is the cheapest, too, so you'd probably want to give that to the drunk. And then the Etherna, you would probably want to give to the artist because he's most reliable and that's the most expensive. But I'm not certain on that, and I'm going to read Rune HQ before I do this because I don't want to mess it up. So give me just a brief moment. <laughs> All right, so it's a good thing that I did not choose this because, first off, you give the drunk... The sulfuric broline, which is just completely ridiculous to me. Why would you give the drunk poison? Uh, don't worry, I'm pretty resourceful of failure, you know. Give him the sulfuric broline, because apparently the drunk will not drink the poison. Sure, I'm a regular at the Dancing Donkey Inn, as it happens. Cool, I'm glad. You give Da Vinci... Da Vinci, yeah, I think that's right. The, uh... Etherna? Yeah, okay, uh, every time I read that, I try to make sure I say it right. The Etherna, or eth Ethna, uh, whatever the fuck it is. That's my, he's going to be the one who takes the simple stuff. So, let's give him the Etherna, because you're probably not going to break it, and it's the most expensive one. And then, Chansey, I'll give the liquid honey, because I guess he, it's not that... Big a deal? The chemist asks a lot for the wages he pays. Maybe you should ask him for more money. No, I just use my in initiative here and there. Okay, that's cool. Uh, Give him the liquid honey. I don't have the other two, so I don't know why they still give me the options. All good. So, I gave them all three the vials. Uh, I guess that's it. Yeah, I guess that's it. Alright, so let's move from here on to Varok. And I don't believe... 
anything will be destroyed if I teleport to Varrock, but I'm not going to do it just in case. I think the vials are what gets destroyed, not the plague sample itself, so I'm going to wait and actually walk into Varrock. So give me just a brief moment and I will jump cut there. And we made it to Varrock. So I did a little bit of running around. It wasn't that much, but I figured it'd be better to run here than to teleport and to see if the plague sample will break. I'm pretty damn confident that the plague sample itself is what breaks, not the vials. So I just decided, what the hell, let's walk. Once we got here, I looked at the map. There are actually three bars in Varrock, and one of them directly south of where we are now. Uh, it's like the Phoenix Gang or something like that you have to do in order to kill somebody in there. Regardless, that's not part of this quest. There's another bar that is up near the Lumberyard, which I assumed is not the one we have to go to because it's outside of Varrock. And then there's a bar in the shady side of Varrock. I bet you anything that's where we have to go. On top of that, it makes total sense. I've always wondered why there is this area in Varrock that's gated off by guards. And it totally makes sense. If you try to enter that gate, I bet you he will search us. And if that happens, that is the entire reason this place exists. Yep. Halt! I need to conduct a search on you. There have been reports of someone bringing a virus into Varrock. Sir, search away. You may now pass. Sweet! So that is this. I always kind of wondered, and it's interesting that I finally figured it out. Alright, so let's go into here and see if we can find Hops, Chansey, and all them. Hey look, there they are. Chansey, Da Vinci, and Hops. Hello again, I hope your journey was as pleasant as mine. Well, as they say, it's always sunny in RuneScape. <laughs> okay, here it is. Thanks, you've been a big help. Cool, now let's talk to Chansey. Uh, he should have the liquid honey, right? Hi, thanks for doing that. No problem. He gives me the liquid honey and then hops. Next time, give me something more valuable. I couldn't get anything for this on the black market. That was the idea. <laughs> awesome. Okay, so that's why we didn't give him anything valuable, because he would have sold it. And if we gave him poison, that's valuable on the black market. Totally makes sense. I would have probably figured that out eventually. Alright, now talk to hops. You had poison. Are you... Why are you alive? I... I thought you were gonna drink it. Pretty thirst-inducing, actually. Well, please tell me you haven't drunk the contents. Oh, the gods know. What did you take me for? Uh, here's your vial anyways. Cool. So he didn't drink the poison. Thanks, I'll let you get your drink now. Cool. Well, I guess we got all three, and now we can leave this place as far as I'm aware? Actually, you know what? That's probably not a good idea. Hold on, let me research... Real quick, if I try to leave, I bet the guard will search me again, and I bet he'll find it. So let me research on Rune HQ where I have to go next. <laughs> wait, wait, hold on. I was literally flipping over pages, and I've... We are standing outside of his house. Gaidor's wife. I assume Gaidor is in here then, right? Yep, there he is. Alright, let's talk to him, and... Please leave my husband alone, he's very sick and I don't want anyone bothering him. I'm sorry to hear that, is there anything I can do? Thank you, but I just want him to see a priest. A priest? Hmm. Okay, so I guess I have to go get a priest gown? Is that... I guess? Oh no! I have to go outside. They're not gonna search me, are they? Uh, I hope not. Alright, well... If I do get searched, I am fucked. So, I guess let's just do this in one cut, because if I do get searched, I want you guys to see it. I'll drop the pigeon cage, not needed right now. Open the gate. And then, yeah, I bet you anything he's going to search me again as I go in. God damn it. All right. Well, let me take off, go, there is a clothing shop right up here, and I bet you anything that I can buy a priest gown from that clothing shop. If not, I'm going to have to run to the monks and get one from them, but... Pretty sure it's, they sell them here. I'm not confident about that, but trade. Teresa, do you have priest gowns? You do. Okay, buy one. Buy one. Cool. Easy enough. Now, let's cross our fingers. Let's hope to the gods. Let's do something. Because if we don't have the availability... Oh, actually, you know what? I don't know if it's worth it. 
it may not be worth it, and I don't know if I can actually drop these bottles. Ah, uh, because I do have methods to telegrab things. Uh, alright, let me, let's try. Nope, 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 okay. So, that's fine. He's gonna research me, uh, and I'm not gonna let him do that. So let me drop this. It's on the ground, right? Yes, it is. Drop. Drop. Open the gate. I'm fine. Search me. I don't care. You may now pass. Cool. And then, telegrab. Or not. Oh, shit. Telegrab. Last one. Oh, shit. Please. Please. Oh, okay. We just cheated the system, and we got it back. That was a close one. I almost had to redo this entire quest. Huh. <sighs> okay, so let's put on the priest gown and go inside. I assume she'll let me in now. Hello, Gaidor. You must be Gaidor. I understand you are unwell. Is my wife asking priests to visit me now? I'm a man of science, for God's sake. Uh, ever since she heard rumors of plague carrier traveling from Ardong, she's kept me under house arrest. Of course she means well, but I'm quite frail now. So what brings you here? I've come to ask for your assistance in stopping a plague. Uh, I don't know if that's a good thing. Um... Okay, sure, why not? Well, it's funny you should ask, actually. I've come to ask your assistance in stopping a plague that could kill thousands. So you're the plague carrier. Oh my god, please, please tell me this is what I was supposed to say. Whoa, okay. Uh, I've been sent by your pupil, Elena. She's trying to help halt the virus. Elena, huh? Yeah, she wants you to analyze it. You might be the only one who can help. Right then, sounds like we better get to- Oh, thank goodness you didn't freak out on me and report me to the guards. I have the plague sample here. Now I'll be needing some liquid honey, some sulfuric broline, and then some etherna? Indeed, how did you know? Well, I'll supply, apply these to the sample and I don't get it. The touch paper has remained the same. That's what Elena wanted you to do. That's why Elena wanted you to do it, because she wasn't sure what was happening. Well, that's just it. Nothing has happened. I don't know what this sample is, but there's, it certainly isn't toxic. So what about the plague? Don't you understand? There is no plague. This isn't an actual plague. Hallelujah! I'm very sorry, I can see that you've worked very hard for this, but it seems that somebody has been lying to you. The only question is, why? That's a very good question. Alright, so let's go back to Elena's house, and since we have no plague samples now, I can actually go buy some water ruins, and we can actually take off. Oh, thank goodness I can teleport now. After we started this quest, I was thinking this is going to take so long because of all our walking. Well, he went through. I was wondering if he was going to start dropping plague samples too. <laughs> Alright, so let's trade. Let's grab a couple of water runes just in case. I need to do this a few times. Um, I don't know if it actually matters, but I want to keep that mud ruin. So let's go to Ardong. Cool. Alright, now I'll run back up to Elena, and she should be able to tell us what the hell's going on here. Run across the log, let's see if I fall off. You make it across with no problem. Sweet. Alright. Hello, Elena. Once again, I have come back to talk to you. And this time, without a plague. So you're back. What did Gaidor say? Nothing. What? He said that there is no plague. So what, this thing has been a big hoax? Yep, or maybe we're about to uncover something huge. Well, I think this is maybe bigger than both of us. No crap, it is politically or economically motivated. What do you mean? I mean, you need to go right now to the top. You need to see the king of East Ardong. Oh, okay, that's cool. Uh, I don't have enough run, and it did take me a while to get here. We just passed the palace, I believe. It is the large fenced in thing with all the guard dogs. Oh no, we're drowning. So let me run back real quick. I don't actually have run, so let me do a very short jump cut and we'll be right back. And we've made it. All right, so I do have a little bit of run built up now and I guess we'll use it. I assume this is the Lord's Mansion. 
Uh, the door is securely locked. Really now? Uh, well then shit. I guess this is not his palace, his castle, whatever. Oh! Oh! Oh, wow! This is the mansion that's inside the city. I'm a dumbass. Alright. There is actually a castle, that, but I completely forgot that this was considered East Ardong still. This castle, I... Every time I see it, I think it's across the river, so it's West Ardong. This is actually the king's castle. This is the paladins and everyone else, the heroes, are all here. So I guess let's run in here and find out where the king is. I bet he's upstairs somewhere. Paladin, paladin, ambassador, giggle whoop, whatever the hell your name is. Ah, King Luthus. Hello, king. Talk to the king. I assume you are the king of East Ardong. You assume correctly, but where do you get such impertinence? I get it from finding out the plague has been a hoax. A hoax? I've never heard such a ridiculous thing. I have evidence from Gaidor of Varrock. Ah, I see. Well, then you are right about the plague. Well, <laughs> you just accept it that quick? Oh, well, you have evidence. I guess I am wrong. But I did it for the good of my people. Wait. What? When is it ever good to lie to people like that? When it protects them from a far greater danger, a fear too big to fathom. Alright, so, let me get this straight before I continue. He made up this hoax. He just claimed that I was ridiculous for claiming it's a hoax. And then I show him evidence and he's like, yep, it's a hoax, I'm sorry. I just lied to everyone, including you just a second ago. <laughs> Alright, let's continue then. When it protects them from a far greater danger, it is... The fear is too big to fathom. Alright, so, uh... Yeah, I, I don't understand. I would say I've wasted enough time, but if I do that, I'll probably end the discussion. There, King Tyrus journeyed into the west on a voyage of discovery. But he was captured by the Dark Lord. What? The Dark Lord agreed to spare his life, but only on one condition, that he would drink from the Chalice of Eternity. So what happened? The Chalice corrupted him. He joined forces with the Dark Lord, the embodiment of pure evil, banished all those years ago. And so I erected this wall, not just to protect my people, but to protect all the people of RuneScape. Now with the King of Westardong, the Dark Lord has an ally on his side. So I'm sorry that I lied about the plague, I just hope that you can understand my reasons. Well, at least I know now, but what can we do about it? Nothing as of the moment. I'm waiting for my scouts to come back. They will tell us how we can go through the mountains. When this happens, I can can I count on your support? Absolutely. Apparently this is three parts. I thought this was only a two-part quest, but apparently we're going to have to kill King Tyrus as well. Thank the gods. I give you permission to use my training area. It's located just northwest of just northwest of Ardong. There you can prepare for the challenge ahead. Okay, there's just one more thing I don't understand. How do you know so much about King Tyrus? How could I not? He was my brother. Oh, well that sucks. Ta-da! Alright, so with that very, very depressing ending, it turns out the plague was a hoax, and it's because his brother has been corrupted by the Dark Lord, the Sith Lord. But apparently we're going to have to go for that later. But that's cool, we finished the quest, three quest points, 1200 thieving experience. The thieving experience isn't that useful in all honesty, but the three quest points is pretty cool. I'm glad we got this done, and it was actually one hell of a quest. Pretty fun, actually, just the randomness. I was thinking it would be a little bit more, I don't know, long and arduous. Like, we would can start with this quest, and it's walking from point to point to point, and it's literally just walking from point to point. But it's a lot of these little random tweaks, like getting those guys to smuggle the vials in. I had to telegrab the vials after I messed up so that I didn't have to go all the way back here. It was fun. Like, in general, it was a good quest, so I enjoyed it. I guess I'll leave it off here then, because it has been a relatively long episode. So thank you all so much for watching, and I will see you guys next time.